my name is Julia Mancuso and I grew up in Squaw Valley, California and I mean for us we had the Olympics in 1960 and my whole family were a bunch of avid skiers and just the whole community everyone loved to ski so skiing was really just ingrained in our roots and our culture there in the valley the mountain was in the backyard and I used to go skiing every weekend since I was about three years old and starting when I became probably a little old enough for my parents to leave me alone, which was actually not that far after that, four or five years old, I joined the Mighty Might program and skied every day and it was a lot of fun. Um, I guess I got into racing when I was eight or nine and we always had been a little bit introduced and I always saw all the older kids racing around. So the moment I got to race was just a lot of fun and my sister is four years older than me and I just really looked up to her. She was also a really fast ski racer, an incredible skier, and I just remember wanting to hang out with the older kids and beat them in skiing. And um, you know, Squaw is such a unique place where there's not only a bunch of ski racers, but a bunch of free skiers as well. So, you know, that element really came into play in my career, and I loved going free skiing, and we would ski until the mountain was closed. After training was over, we'd go get more runs in, and yeah, I just loved it. I never really knew about the World Cup Tour or what exactly skiing would mean to me in my life. So, you know, when I started to travel a little more, that was about 14, 15, and my first international races were when I was 15 and I started to compete and actually do really well in those races and that's kind of when I realized, hey, maybe this is something that I'm not going to actually go to college yet and do. but skiing and see where this brings me and at that point we knew the Olympics were in Salt Lake City in 2002 so that was kind of my goal when I was 15 I in a couple years the Olympics would be on home turf and I really wanted to make it and so that was my next big focus. Things on the World Cup definitely didn't come easy for me it took me a lot of years to really feel comfortable and I really miss my friends I enjoyed growing up in Tahoe and all of a sudden I was traveling and those times that I felt were my best moments of my life were away from home now and traveling and away from my friends. So it took a while for me to become really comfortable and I still had a lot of success at kind of the junior level, junior world championships and Europa Cups, but it was really hard for me to break onto the World Cup. When things aren't going well, I have to remember, you know, what I'm doing, spending time on the road just instead of the disadvantages, the advantages, like if I'm in an amazing ski town in Italy to make sure that I experience everything, the culture, the cuisine, uh, the hotels, and kind of take a step back from really my main purpose. But once I find that love for skiing again and go free skiing and not really worry about the results, that's when everything seems to come back together for me. And, and I started having success once I felt more comfortable in Europe, when I got a car so I could get around to wherever I needed to go and, and an apartment so I didn't have to carry five bags with me all the time. That's when things started to get in place and I started to feel like I actually belong and enjoy my time in Europe. The cool thing about being an American on really a European dominated tour is that a lot of the fans in Europe can really embrace us and cheer for us as well. I mean, when you're in Austria and you're not gonna be cheering for a Swiss because there's such a big rivalry between countries, but we're kind of the underdogs and we're kind of the outsiders as Americans. So it's, it's nice because when we go to Europe, every country can cheer for us and you know be really happy for us as well as their own country, no matter what country we're in. For me, still in ski racing, no matter what happens, I don't dwell on the past or I can't really dwell on how the situations are different because we're in an outdoor sport and circumstances change all the time, conditions change, luck changes, and there's nothing you can control. All you can control is what you do. And I still feel like we're really lucky to even be doing what we're doing as a sport and as a job really so I just try to look at the positive and of course I get disappointed but it's just forward thinking that keeps me going and just looking ahead and being really thankful and gracious for all of the results I've had in the past and just looking for everything that I can do better in the future. Winning in Moscow was huge for me because I was in Russia for one and it was really, I was an underdog again, I wasn't a slalom skier, and I faced some really tough opponents like Lindsey Vaughn, and I kicked her butt, so that was kind of cool too, head to head with my biggest rivalry. And I mean, the people just, more the country of Russia is 
very unique and interesting and it was really cool to go there and get a feel for what it's going to be like during the Olympics. So keep up with me on my journey to Sochi through Facebook and of course cheering me on through Universal Sports and see you in Sochi.